by the special grace of God, there is a movie, it's just a short clips that I want to show you, a very, very short clips that I want you as a child of God to watch it. I'm not a movie type and I, 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 I'm not a movie type and I'm not people who are calling people like that to watch movie. I don't say movie is the same if it's a Christian one, but this one, there is a big message I want you to watch from here. If you are a true child of God, because we have different type of God, we have children to a different Christian in the world, but many of them are not child of God. If you are a true child of God, you are a, you, you, you are a Jew, you are an Israelite, you know in your heart that you are one of the remnant. God is going to a point for the end time. Please, at least, watch this powerful revelation. What is it all about? What is the video all about? I will explain to you. There was a time that United States of America have an issue with, a, with Japan, one of the states in Japan or so. And for that reason, the United uh, soldiers, they send a nuclear weapon there. And when they do that, something happens. I just want you to understand something there. The threat between the Russia president and the uh, United States of America president, the threat between the two of them, and what the Lord is talking about, the destruction of the Babylon in the book of Revelation chapter 18, where God said he's going to destroy the Babylon at the end of time. He said he's going to destroy the Babylon. Now, when God is going to destroy the Babylon, he's not going to just destroy the country. If you cannot just look up, okay, every, every country is already leveled up. No, and people who are living in the Babylon, God is going to destroy the Babylon and the people inside the Babylon. So it's going to be a mix of destructions. Everyone that is in that place where God is destroying it, they are going to be destroyed. Now, this is what the Lord has said. And I want you to just understand what it means when they are saying they were fighting about nuclear weapon. I want you to understand what it means to use atomic bomb, to use nuclear weapon. And I want you to think well about it. Please and please, just patiently watch this something. have spent more than two billion dollars on the greatest scientific gamble in history. It is an atomic bomb. It is a harnessing of the basic power of the universe. With this bomb we have now added a new and revolutionary increase in destruction. That bomb has more power than 20,000 tons of TNT. We shall destroy their docks, their factories, and their communications. Let there be no mistake, we shall completely destroy Japan's power to make war. Enola Gay, this is Command. You're clear for takeoff. Over. Copy that, Command. Commencing takeoff now. Over. Thank you. 
feet. Adjusting course for final approach. Over. You are cleared to proceed, Enola Gay. We need to hit the Ioi bridge for maximum impact. What's the payload status? Over. Payload is ready for deployment. Maintaining speed and altitude for optimal drop trajectory. Over. Godspeed, Enola Gay. Command out. There's one thing I want you to take note in the video here, guys. You will see that the people that are, that are there, it's a video. This video is a life story of what happened in that place. So someone just try, you know, to do the video so that you can understand the gravity of what is coming in Europe, in US, in all those places and Asia countries. It's just the person trying to make it, it, it to try to explain to you how they actually felt. After this video, after this one you are watching, I'm still going to make another video. After this one, I will, that is where you will see the people that they were intervening. People that they, they take out for practical of how they, 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 they shoot nuclear weapons for the first time. They were there. They were not closer to it. They were far from it. They just want people to be there to a kind of uh, uh, to see how it's going to be. How they are going to be. These people, what they face and what it costs in their lives, even though they did not, they, they, did, they are not closer to it. It's still affecting them. Even the children that they gave back to, uh, they are still being affected till right now. Listen to me. You should have it in your heart and have the understanding. There's no gain. I am not telling you to. I'm trying to rescue you. It's a message. In the end of the time, God is going to raise some revival in what's man that is going to be warning, sadly warning to the people so that they can know what they're not saying. God is going to raise men. They might be young men. They might not be old as you propose they are going to be. They are not going to be as people who are too experienced. They might not be educated like you. But God will raise them. And He's going to use them to work. It's going to be like a great, great world, just like the way Noah was warning people leave the country, come and enter inside the boat. And nobody was hearing it. What well, I want you to listen to something. If you look at it very well. You see that people were living their normal life. Eh? Do you see that video? People were living their normal life. The children, the mother, everybody. It, it is going to be where you are not expected. Don't expect to hear any news. That they will tell you that, oh, oh hey, everybody prepare yourself. Oh, there's going to be bomb and nuclear weapon thrown here. Prepare yourself. Oh. No! They will tell you. The same way they're just giving the announcement and news, they are saying it already. They are not going to be a kind of a way because they don't want people to leave. Those who are in the East are in the European side, you will know that there is kind of some structure they have made now that make it difficult for people to leave the country right now. Intentionally, they want it to be so. They want you to perish with them. They already know what the scripture says. Satan himself, he knows what the Bible says. So everything is, 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 it must happen. And I want to tell you something. Nothing can stop it. Like I told you, and I will repeat it again and again and again and again. Nothing will stop the war from coming to pass. It's a prophecy. What will stop the war from coming to pass? It means the Bible are all fake. The Bible says that whenever the Lord says something, he will be so anything come to pass. So, and God can be lying. Revelation 18 said, he's going to destroy the Babylon. Any country you have seen, those white countries, they are all Babylon. Not only U.S.
A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. We have won. What has been done is the greatest achievement of organized science in history. The world would not be the same. Few people laughed. Few people cried. Most people were silent. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. We should strive not to use violence in fighting for our cause. But by non-participation in anything, your belief is evil. This is just in, ladies and gentlemen. President Truman just announced the first ever use of a new secret weapon, an atomic bomb of unparalleled strength. The bomb was deployed 16 hours ago and engulfed Hiroshima in a mushroom of fire. Japanese officials have confirmed the immediate loss of over 78,000 lives following the blast, with the total number of casualties now exceeding 130,000. President Truman has called for Japan to surrender or expect a rain of ruin from the air, the like of which has never been seen on this earth. Sir, at the time that you first found out about the atomic bomb, did you regard it as a curse or a blessing to mankind? Well, I thought it was a blessing. I thought it could be used and made a blessing. I never worried about it being a curse. I wanted a weapon that would win the war, and it did. That's what I was interested in. Now, see what the scripture says about it. It's going to be in a level whereby you are not prepared. Listen, and when God wants to judge anybody, he always use the technique of unprepared. If God wants to fight his enemy, he's not going to fight by saying, I'm warning you, I'm coming tomorrow now. No! He won't tell you. If God is going to destroy a place, it won't take, it will just be a warning. Listen to me. Why am I shouting? There's no big things that is making me to shout than your own life. God is going to raise men to be a voice for him. These men are going to be shouting their night until that thing happens. And we are doing it now. We are shouting it day and night. See what the Bible says about this incident. Hear this. Matthew chapter 24, starting from 36. Matthew 24, starting from 36. But of that day and hour, know it no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the day that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, 
until the day that Noah enter into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all over, all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Now, one of the problems we have in the church is that we are all expecting that the rapture is going to take place. We are not going to pass through uh, tribulation and you are being deceived. You read Bible for yourself and hear where the Bible was saying that if not for the sake, if not for the sake of the what? The elect. The day will be certain. Which means that you yourself will pass through it. It must happen. When they say rapture want to take place, the rapture can take place in many areas. When a man dies suddenly, it's his own rapture that have taken place. When war came and destruction came upon the whole world, his own what? His own raptures have also came. Rapture is the meaning of rapture means cutting away, taking away. That's just the meaning. So, which means that if you, whether you believe it or not, war is going to take place. The bomb blast, the atomic bomb that was thrown in that video was actually thrown to Hiroshima, one of the city or state in Japan. It's a central place where people gathered. That was where they threw the bomb. Now, listen to me very well. In that video, there are things they mentioned there which I will like you. To, very, to be attentive and to be very, very careful about. Number one point I want to bring out is this. They said the modern atomic bomb now is 3,000 powerful than the one they throw in Hiroshima. You can browse it yourself. It's, it's on internet, it's on YouTube, it's everywhere. You can just say you will see my the war between the US and the Japan. You, you can just do it yourself. You can do it yourself. So it's 30,000 powerful. Now, according to the record, they said over 130 people were killed. Uh, over over uh, 78 people completely wiped that they, they didn't see them. 130 people. 130,000 people were, uh, were later die or don't, I don't know how they say it. Now, when, when I browse it, they said over 170,000 people died. Now, the point I want to bring out is this. If they said the nuclear weapon, the atomic bomb they use in Hiroshima is actually so powerful in the level where it's two thousand, uh, it, it's lesser than the one they are doing now. So, which means that it's, 2000 powerful than that less up uh, less times 170,000 people times 2000 and let's see the result of one atomic bomb on a state or on a country now according to the calculation here 170,000 times uh 30,000 30,000 is going to give us 510 million people dying at a time, which I know that it depends on how it's going to be. And if they want to wipe out a country, they will not send the one, they can send like four at a time. Now, they said something in that video. I also want you to watch it very well. I want to release it very well. They said if they wanted to send such a thing at once at once if they want to send such a thing at once he said just in a warning in a single warning in a single warning they will send two thousand at once please if they send two thousand even to the world the world will be quarterly destroyed quarterly destroyed that is how powerful it's going to be Sam, I want to beg you in the name of the living God. If you look at the interview they have with the U.S. government, I'm not trying to speak against anyone. 
I, I'm just trying to be sincere. The man standing that is standing like the president of the U.S. and they are trying to tell you the interview that followed that incident. The man says, "He said, the man said, the husband said, is he a blessing or a cause? The the nuclear weapon used in Hiroshima is it a blessing for humankind or a cause? The president, what did he say? He said, to him, he see it as a blessing." Now, somebody will say that it's a blessing to destroy a country. Do you forget that people who are living in that country is not animal. They are human beings. Like you and I. They are human beings. And he said, he see it as a blessing. Quote. Quote. Quote it. Quote that word. Quote that word as a blessing. Someone like that, I don't think someone like that is a human being. There must be probably an agent or demon incarnate. Because somebody as a human being will not be seeing his human being dying like that because of a threat of each other. Sir, this is what the Lord is telling you. The Lord is telling you. Now we are saying it. It looks as if I'm trying to force you to leave the, uh, the Babylon where you are now. I'm only doing what God asked me to do. Jesus personally appeared to me. And told me to warn the world. He personally appeared to me. So, and there's a difference between God telling me to warn and me doing it myself. Many times, I cannot even mention how many times you have been talking to me about the regarding, regarding, regarding. From when I was seven years old, he has been appearing to me face to face, telling them about regarding. And there's nothing we can do than telling you now. I will not come and drag you there. But this is the point of what I want to tell you. In this level, you have to make a choice between yes or no. Make a choice. And God is like that. He always warns his people. That's one thing I love God about. If God wants to destroy a city, he always considers the saint or the righteous people in that city. When he wants to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, there was a kind of dialogue between Abraham and God. Abraham was trying to beg God that God should not destroy the city. But God has made up his mind. He has to destroy it. So Abraham was trying to dialogue. He said, if you see this, will you forgive it? If you did see this, will you forgive them? If you see this, will you forgive them? But God said he has to what? He has to destroy the city. And if God wants to destroy the city, there's something. there are two things you usually do. Number one, he will destroy the city without giving any notice. Like, he without, without uh, letting the people know that I'm destroying today, today. He won't tell you the date. He won't tell you the time. He's used to that. When Noah time came in the book of Genesis, when Noah time came, Genesis chapter 6, if you read it very well, you will see what is there. Noah time, when he was warning the people about the occurrences of, uh, of what is going to happen. That is a uh, uh, six, seven, chapter seven, uh, and chapter eight. When he was warning people for one twenty years, because in that time they were living longer life. They can you can live up to six hundred years, four hundred years, uh, seven hundred years, as eight hundred years in that time. So God used one twenty years to warn the people about entering the ark. Also, the same way. God also usually warns people when they want to destroy people. Now, he sent an angel to go and rescue Lot. Don't forget, one of the things I want you to, to notice is that, number one, he didn't give notice in that day. To the level that the angel disguised as a human being. When they are entering Sodom and Gomorrah, they disguised as a human being. No, nobody was even suspecting. They didn't come in the form of an angelic form. They came like a human being. They didn't come as a giant being. They came like a what? A normal, normal being. Not like this guy's it. So, you know, they were doing things. If, in fact, when they, they even wanted to attack the angels. They were, they were gently because the time has not reached. And when the time reached, he said, Lord, your family, go now and go and gather your family. I want you to open to Genesis chapter 19. Genesis chapter 19 verse 15. We are going to read it down. Genesis 
1915. Now, and when the money arose, then the angel asked Lot, what? Asked, when they say something, asking somebody, it means they are pushing you fast. Do this in time. A kind of a pressurizing. You can also say pressurizing someone to do something on time. So there was a kind of instinct from the angel. See, hey, hey, back, back, leave. You see, he asked him, say, arise, take your wife and two daughters, which are here, lest thou be consumed in the iniquity of the city. If you call yourself a say, in fact, make a mighty oil, they run from your head to down. Make a mighty oil, they wet your throat like this. Make fire, they burn from your mouth. No matter how great you might be, whether you have a big church of a uh, two million, uh, five million members, whatsoever church you might have is on your own pocket. The judgment of God cannot over, it cannot overcross you. It's not possible. Once you are in the Babylon, and the Lord said, Leave the Babylon, it's an instruction, it's different from you. It cannot overcome, it, it cannot over, eh? no, it can't drop you. Because it will be classified as you love Babylon, you desire Babylon, then you need to perish with this. He says, so that you will not share in the iniquity of the city. Yes, you go with your family. Go with your wife. Go with your children. Go. In fact, he was telling them they were not packing bag, no clothes, no food stuff, no anything. Go now because they couldn't. The angel didn't tell them we're going to dissolve right now. No, 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 no. He said, please, tell me, tell me. How will God be disturbing me in my dream, in my revelation, telling me warn the people? It's because the timing is now. The destruction is now. And you are there, you are just there, you say, okay, you are enjoying life. Ah! A time is going to come. You will, you will be setting things like this. I say, I die no. I listen. I die no, I hear this season. I die no, I, I hear this one. You know, you are looking at this, I that Daniel. Oh, man, great thing he knows. You can see anything you like, anything. Say it. I say he's a bad person. He said this person. Well, anyhow, say it. But a time we come. A time we come. You begin to look for me, I tell you. I'm not saying I'm the savior. When you begin to look for that message, I said, Where is this man that is talking? I thank God, go and check all my profile on YouTube. You will see the prophecy I have said there. None of them always pass without fulfilling. God tell me, tell you. Now, let's read it forward. He said, And why he lingered? Why he lingered? Listen to this statement. Too. Why and why he lingered, the man laid hold upon his hand and upon the hand of his wife and upon the hands of his two daughters. The Lord be merciful unto him and they brought him forth and set him with, without the city. Do you know the meaning of that statement? Why uh, our, our daddy, Noah, our brother, why he was delaying? He was, he was trying to say, okay, let's prepare. Let's carry clothes. He was still there. He's trying to... Eh? The angels, oh, God, you not get out. He was in hand. And they begin to drag them out with force. Go out, go out, go out. The time is going already. Go out. So that is what happened there. They were like, sir, sir, I want to carry my phone. Say, no phone, go. Sir, I want to resign from my work. Do resign. Just go. So I want to buy, sell my house now. I'm not going to live like that now. No! Because you have built your house on a wrong location. A time is going to come. You will cry for all what you have invested in that places. You will work like this. Because at that moment, you will come back to square one. If you didn't leave, if you leave late... If you leave late, you will, you will cry and come back to square one. Go and read the revelation with it and see what is happening there. Yeah. Go and read. The Bible said those who are sent, which means that those who are living there, it said those who are sent, go there and invest it. They begin to cry. When they saw what happened, the Bible said, cry! Cry! 
the wave. There are family who couldn't follow them. The wave. The wave. The situation Noah found himself. Ah, uh, Lot found himself. Lot. The situation where Lot found himself, whereby he and the two daughters were in the mountain, and they couldn't see man to sleep with them. They were like, "Where am I? Where am I?" And they now begin to sleep with their family father because there is no other person. This world is still going to become like that. Whereby men will be scarce, women will be scarce, because where that will be destroyed, you will hardly see a living soul alive. Let's read that word. And it came to pass when they had brought them forth abroad, and he said, Escaped for your life. You see that? Escaped for your life. Look not behind thee. Neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. That's what we are going to. Another plan God usually did do is this. If God wants to destroy anywhere, is uh, maybe a city or a world or the world or whatsoever, he always make a place of refugee for his people. In all the plan and the design of God, God can never forget you because you are a prayer warrior. Because your heart loves him. Because you serve him diligently, with all your sincerity. So God will never forget, forget you. He won't destroy you with that country. So he will, he will go and prepare a place for you. For you to go and rescue yourself and stay. So it's now in your hand to obey or not to obey. So if you refuse to obey, he will destroy you with them. At least when you get to heaven and you are on the judgment trial, you say, sir, eh, it's not my fault now. There's no place now. There's no place that uh, I, could, I, could, I, I, I could stay. God will say, I have prepared. You refuse to go. And depart from here. Go to hell. Because when you disobey God's voice, when God tells you to go somewhere and you refuse it, you can never make it. Because you have disobeyed the law. The same law gave to Abraham to Adam. And he said, do not listen. Disobediently. The same thing. It will also deal with you. Because of disobedience. And what he said, if you look at something there, the second thing is that he said, Go to the mountain. Why did God ask? Why did the angel say, Go to the, don't go to the plain land? Now he said, Look not behind thee, neither stay thou in all the plain, in all the plain, in all, in all the plain, in all, anywhere in the world that is plain. Do stay there. You see that? Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. Why did he have to mention mountain? Let's look at it again. Why did he have to mention Monty? Eh? Why did he have to mention Monty? Look at Isaiah chapter 2. Let's look at Isaiah chapter 2. There's something I want you to, 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 I want to bring out to your notice there. Why did he have to mention Monty? Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah chapter 2. Isaiah 2. If you are there, you can open it there. Chapter 2, verse 3. Let's start from uh, verses 2. He said, And it shall come to pass. In the last day, that the mountain of the Lord house shall be established in the top of the mountain. Eh? In the last day, listen to that statement. In the last day, not after rapture. In the last day, when they talk about last day, it doesn't refer to the millennial years. <laughs> doesn't when they say last day, it means that the time the world is going to end. He said the top is going to be. Where God shall stay shall be on the top of the mountain, in the mountain, in the last day. And it shall come to pass in the last day that the mountain of the Lord house, house shall be established on the top of the mountain. On top, not the down, not the, uh, the, the last something. And shall be exalted above the valley, not the valley, uh, not, 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 not the hill. It's above the hill, not the level, above the hill, mm? above the hill. And all nations shall flow into it. All what? All nations. It's a prophecy. All nations. All nations. No wonder. Shall flow into it. Now, listen to it. Listen to it. Verse 3. And many people shall go and say, Come! And ye. Come ye. And let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. To the house of God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his way. 
and we will walk in his path. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. When I say come to the mountain, come to the camp, do you see what is happening there? It's a prophecy that will happen in the last day. They will be regarded. It's not absolute. If they mention rap, they said, and they will say, come, come and go and learn the word of God. They can't say, come and learn the word of God in heaven. It's not possible. They can't say it. You see, if I see, say, you say, many people say, come, come and learn. So they can't say it, come and learn the word of God in the uh, level. No, it's already late. When it's, it's going to be on head. He's, he's saying the last day. Where is the garden now? Where is the last day? Is it the history that, that they didn't believe in Jesus Christ? Some people say, I was learning one comment. I was saying that uh, our, is the Israelites have already gathered in 1948. Israelites that gathered that didn't believe Jesus Christ. Please, how would Jesus Christ be there when they didn't believe in him? It's not possible now. The regathering shall be on earth, on the mountain, and there's going to be a specific place. That it will be, and it's going to be in Nigeria. See, seven years when I was seven years old, he had been telling me the mountain whereby the camp is now, where God said we should have the camp. There is a man of God. You, the African people, will know it. Some white people know him. Opposed to Joseph Ayo Babalola, before he give, he gave out the ghost. He prophesies on part, one particular mountain, and he said there will be a regarding in that place before he died. And that is the mountain God. Before he gave the message and said, This mountain, the nations have flown into it. Hmm? Hmm? Why is why are they mentioning mountain? Why did God told Lord mountain? And God tell us hey, yeah, mountain. Hmm? Again, when Jesus Christ was also talking to the disciple. He mentioned something again. Yeah. Matthew 24. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Matthew, open it, open it, open it. Yes. Matthew 24. Yes. Verse 15. Verse 15. 24, 15. When ye therefore shall see the abominations of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Who so read it, let him understand. Hear this. Hear this. Verse 16. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountain. Into where? Huh? Into where? I told you that this issue of God level, when you want to judge, it will make people to go on time. Because if they do go, there's a problem. He said, he will tell them what? Flop, 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 go, go, go to the mountain. Go, go. He said, let them run to the mountain. Now, hear this, hear this. He said, verse 17, let him which is on the house top not come down to take anything out of, you know, now, things is fine. If you come late, you will not even pick anything to come out. But if you quickly arrange and come, probably, I never know, because it can happen tomorrow. This is what I talking it can I don't know. Probably, maybe, I don't know. But come and prepare where you are going to stay. If you read that place down, you will understand what the Lord is saying there. You will understand. Are you with me now? Are you with me? Now, another place that. Now, you see the gate. Open to Obadiah. Obadiah. Obadiah 170. If you get there before me, you can. It's good. Just wait for me till I get there. Obadiah 170. Obadiah 170. Yes. Now, 170. Obadiah 170. Here it is. But upon Mount Zion, if they say Mount Zion, it's not necessary in Israel. I've told you before. Not where people are already, they already have a kind of a logistic relationship with the antichrist beast if you see that the babylon god want to destroy is actually the best friend of the people who are in israel now which is totally wrong that one says that they have a alliance 
a kind of covenant together that they are satanic. It's not this Israelite that are really Israelite. I will tell you plain, plain. Now, hear this. But there is another place God is going to call Zion. When God came, I'm going to explain to you later, later. How are we going to be to Israel? I will tell you. But for now, it's going to level down. Now, he said, But upon Mozart shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Upon Mozart, there are many places that God talk about this regarding of the saint, where he says they are going to be regarded. They are a lot of places. A lot, a lot that if we are to open the scripture, we go. There are a lot. So there is there's nothing you can say that I'm not aware, sir. That is why it is like that. I'm not this and that. There is a lot of places that God has spoken about it. For this reason, I want to beg you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> that please, God is giving you free ticket of freedom. You can decide to die. Yeah, you can decide it. You can decide to stay there and die because of your property and what you have invested there. You can decide it. But this is what I want to tell you. If you die there based on your own decision, you will go to hell fire. Can't it clear and clear? The Lord said, you will go to hell fire. I pray in the name of Jesus, you will not go to hell. Please, bros, sisters, share this video everywhere. There are many people who need it to hear it. Share it everywhere. Subscribe to this channel. Press subscribe and press like so that it can go far. In the name of Jesus, you will be blessed. Your comment also is needed. God bless you. God bless you.